Once I have all my titles and clips in my project, now I'm ready to start working with my audio. Uh, and so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on recording a narration. So I want to record my voice playing in the background of all of my clips that go along with it. So again, I'm going to refer to my storyboard, and my storyboard tells me what that dialogue is that's going to go with each individual portion of my video. So anytime I get a new scene, I have a new section of dialogue. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to record my dialogue in small chunks instead of recording it all in one big long portion, and I'll show you why. So the first part of my dialogue says, Did you know that testing and driving caused nearly 25% of all car accidents? So the most common mistake people make when they record audio is that they don't record their sound uh, legibly or uh, loud enough. They're going to mumble or you're embarrassed about recording your voice. Um, and it's really, it comes across pretty bad whenever you do that and you try listening to your video. There's very little iMovie can do to make your audio sound better when you simply just don't record it loud enough or clearly enough. So it's important when you record that you speak slowly, that you speak uh, emphatically, like uh, the way you would hear yourself talking on a radio, um, have a, a, a powerful voice and not just uh, mumbling through things. So uh, it helps to print up your script or print up your, or have your uh, storyboard with you when you're getting ready to record. Uh, but in order to record, there is a simple microphone button here that when I click on, it is going to turn on my recording tool. I now have a red record button that is going to pick up uh, my voice. And you can tell it's picking up my voice because I have these little lines here uh, as I talk. Now if I talk really softly, those lines are going to be lower. If I talk really loudly, those lines are going to get really loud. Right, your goal is to try to talk in a volume that's going to put those about halfway. You don't want to get too high and you don't want to be real low. Now there is a little setting button here that allows you to control the volume. This is the volume that things are being recorded at. So if you are talking at a normal tone but you find that your voice is really, really soft or you're way down here, or if you talk really loudly and you're always hopping out, you can kind of tweak that before you record uh, to make sure that it shows up just right. So now that I'm ready to record, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click that red record button. Now before I do that, I need to click somewhere in my timeline to control where I want it to start recording. So in this case, I want it to start at the beginning. So I'm going to click at the beginning and now when I hit record, it's going to start recording from that point. So I look back at my first line again, and I'm ready to go. I click the red record button. Did you know that texting and driving caused nearly 25% of all car accidents in the United States? And I click the stop button to pause it. Now you'll notice it shows up down here. Audio tracks show up as green in my timeline. Now this track, you'll notice, is a lot longer than what I had for my title. So my original storyboard showed that my title should have only, or that audio should only be underneath that 25% title. So I wouldn't spend a lot of time adjusting lengths of your clips until you start recording your audio because now all I have to do is click on this title and stretch it out to match. And now my audio and my title both match. So let's do another one. I'm going to click right where I want it to start recording. My next scene says that is 1.6 million accidents a year. So I go back here. I've selected where I want it to start recording. I hit that red record button. That is 1.6 million accidents a year. And I stop. So again, here's my clip. I can now click on my image and stretch it out to make it match like so and then I'll do it one more time click on my clip and again red record button three two one countdown 11 people die every day and again once again adjust it to make it match so I go back to the beginning of my movie and here's what I have.
Did you know that texting and driving cause nearly 25% of all car accidents in the United States? That's 1.6 million accidents a year. 11 people die every day. And there it is. Now, if I made a mistake, or maybe I wanted to cut some of that off, maybe it's a little bit too much empty space before I hit the stop button, I can shorten this up. Uh, again, I can also shorten up my clips. Uh, if I made a mistake on one of these, I can simply click on it and hit the delete key on the keyboard to delete it, and then just simply go click to set it again, and hit record to record it again. All right, so I can take as many takes as I need to to make sure that I get my audio the way I want. Once I'm done with my audio recording, I'm going to click that microphone button and it switches back to just a normal play button. So that is how I can adjust or record my own audio 